What's up? This is Squire2448 with a Farming Simulator 17 video. Today we'll be doing some camping and fishing here on the mowing map. We'll be using the old Chevy to trailer the brand new bass boat over to the marina. We'll be launching it and fishing down the river. And we'll be using the 2017 Ford F450 to tow the gooseneck camper trailer. So let's hop in the F450. We'll be towing this over to the new campsite. And I'm very excited to be testing out version 1 of the mowing map today. The forest has tripled in size. And there is a nice river and a few other cool features. So we'll be backing up to the camper and attach. Now this is a pretty cool camper that I did convert from FS15. I really do like a lot of the mods from that. So we'll be heading out over here and we are on the new new addition to the map where it's much larger and there's a very special video later today doing some more map building but this setup looks amazing. I really do like this camper trailer in this color also. It looks pretty cool and it also changes it up from the previous uh, campers we use. But this F450 is doing a great job hauling. So we'll be going out, we will actually be crossing the bridge to the other side, which will also be interesting. I'm very excited to be doing that. You guys can see that we do have some new shops on the map. There is more work I need to do before it gets released, but I'm planning for it to be released late next week, so stay tuned for that. I'm very excited about it. Take a look at this. This looks really good and it actually sits in the truck pretty level, which is also a good feature. So we'll be heading on the dirt roads right over here. We have another entrance and this does connect over to the dirt track. Alright, so we'll be going way up here. Now this 450 should be able to haul it. It is a dually and I do usually like, like to use duallys for gooseneck trailers just so that we could uh, haul more and it could support all the way. So we'll continue down and these are some very wide trails which I'm very excited for. I do like having them wide so we do not scrape the paint on the trucks or trailers or even RVs. So we'll be making our way over and you guys can see that there is a river over there. That's pretty cool. I've done a lot of work since the last map building video but we'll probably be heading down. Let's take a look. Looks like there's a trail right over here which is awesome, so we'll turn over here. And if you guys do have any cool video ideas for me, drop them down below in the comments. I'm always open to any ideas that you guys give me, and you guys always have amazing ideas. So there should be a bridge coming up right over here to the right. You guys can see, take a look at that. There is a bridge connecting us to the other side over there. That's pretty cool. We'll continue down and go over there. Now we'll be setting up camp, then we'll switch over and go get the Chevy We'll be bringing that boat over to the marina, and then we'll be launching it and going down the river with a fishing rod with us. So we'll be fishing along the way. Take a look at that, and I actually did make this bridge a lot higher up so that uh, pretty large boats can go under and go through the river. So I did plan that out so it, uh, it would be possible. So we'll kind of come over here, and I'm thinking we'll probably set up camp right over here along the water. Right here looks, yeah, this looks good right here. There is actually a dog force, which is good. We'll disconnect that, and we'll just park the F450, kind of blocking the uh, gooseneck hitch. And that looks pretty good. So awesome. We'll switch over right here now to the old Chevy. I really do like this older truck. It looks amazing, and the two-tone paint looks pretty cool. We'll back up and attach. And this boat has been one of the most requested mods for me to feature on the channel. That's pretty cool. I appreciate all the support giving me good ideas and this boat looks pretty cool. It is around a 15 foot boat, pretty realistic for a good uh, fishing boat also just for going down the river. Right, so right now we are driving through the downtown. You guys can see we are parking to the left in a pretty cool row of downtown buildings which is awesome. We'll hop on the inside view and we'll be making our way over there. I'm very excited for using this brand new boat. It looks pretty cool. Looks like there's a motor up front. Also, two motors in the back. One for going fishing and then the other one for mainly a lot of the uh, water, if you would say. And then we have a lot of seats on it. Two seats up front and then uh, three in the back. And there will actually be another camping video later this week. I'm very excited to be doing more camping videos, especially on the weekends, since that's the perfect time for us to take off some uh, time from the work.
This truck also has an amazing inside view, which is awesome. I do like trucks with really nice interiors. This one has a working, awesome gauges and everything like that. Now, a few things left on this map is to script the doors so that they fully function. If you do know how to script the doors, let me know down below in the comments. I will have you help me out and get this map fully complete. Once that is complete, the map is pretty much uh, finished, which is awesome. We'll be pulling in here, and one of the biggest things about this marina for version 1 is I did make the ramp uh, pretty nice. It is not as steep as the last one. It's a little bit longer of a ramp, so that should be very helpful. So we'll back this down. This truck did an amazing job towing this, and I'm thinking it's going to be a lot easier and save us a lot of time if we pretty much leave the truck here at the marina. I think that's going to be what we will be doing. This looks to be good right how it is. Awesome. So that looks good. We'll back the uh, boat off. Take a look at that, guys. We launched the boat. It actually launched really well. We'll kind of pull up here and uh, hop on out and move the truck up to the parking area for the boats. But overall, this boat launch was very successful. I do like being as realistic as possible and uh, even when we are trying to have some fun. So we'll come over here and we'll probably park up right over here. So this looks pretty good for parking. That looks awesome. So we'll walk back, we'll hop on the boat, but like I was saying, as we do have a fishing rod with us, which we'll be uh, putting in the water momentarily once we kind of make our way over to the river section. But I'm very excited to be using this bass boat and to catch some fish. This will be interesting. So I do like this boat overall. It looks amazing. So we'll be making our way over there. Guys can see that we do have two motors in the back. We have a 40 horsepower. And then it looks like we only have like a 9 horsepower. Which that's only for when we are just trying to go very slowly fishing. So you guys can see we are going by the campgrounds right over there. We actually did do a few camping videos over there. But this map does have a river. And like I was saying earlier, the forest tripled in size. We are now cruising over here to the river. We really want to get over here. There should be a lot less movement and a lot more fish. Awesome. So I'm going to uh, kind of put the uh, engine in neutral. We'll hop out of the driver's seat. We'll come over here onto the boat and we'll be putting a rod in. Take a look at that, guys. We are fishing. I found this pretty cool fishing rod. I'm very excited to use it today. So you guys can see I'm fishing right over here. Pretty close action. Now we're going to go right here. This looks pretty good. We'll drop it in. Wait. It looks like I'm getting a bite. The uh, rod is going up and down just a little. We'll pull it up. Take a look at that, guys. Looks like uh, there was no fish. It kind of fell off. So we'll try again. We'll uh, kind of throw it in. Let's see. We'll throw it back in. Awesome. We threw the line back in. We'll see what happens. And it looks like we got another fish, so we'll pull it up. And it looks like we did catch a fish, just so that we are unable to take it off the line. So we'll put that fishing rod back, and we'll be heading more down the road. I think right underneath the bridge is going to be one of the best areas, since they like to pretty much go wherever the bridges are. But this bass boat looks pretty cool. And let me know, guys, down below in the comments, should I release this boat or that center console boat for the... Uh, release with the map this boat's going along really really well I really do like it a lot and it looks awesome so I appreciate all the support on the daily content I'm very excited to be doing more and more videos especially on this epic map that I put together throughout the weeks and you guys watched it the progress and that's a lot of fun and we'll probably be doing more Minecraft videos even more GTA videos so let me know should we do some fishing in GTA sounds like a great idea so we made it over here we'll be docking up towards the end over there but I'm thinking we'll come near the bridge area let's kind of come over here we do not want to kind of drift into the bridge but this looks to be good right over here you guys can see that there's a lot of room for us to go under which is good we'll drop the line in right over here as close as we can to the bridge but that structure looks amazing it's an in-game bridge that I did take off of Goldcrest We'll fish right over here, pretty close to the shoreline, that looks good. And it looks like we got a fish on it, we'll kind of we, uh, pull it in, looks like we got it guys, and that's awesome. So we got one fish, that's pretty cool, we'll kind of continue down. 
and we'll look for another good spot. And I'm thinking just about right here along the uh, edge line. This might be a perfect spot. And let's take a look. Yeah, so we'll kind of go right up over here. Looks like it's a pretty quiet day out here on the water. No other boats, nothing like that. But I think it will be pretty cool to script in a boat. Almost like scripting in traffic. But have one of those vehicles as a boat. That will be pretty cool. Let me know if that's possible. But we'll kind of cast it. Wow, guys, take a look at that. And it looks like we are getting a bite. Awesome, so we got a bite, but it looks like they kind of uh, got off of our line, which is okay. Looks like we do not have too much uh, fish inside of the boat, if you would say. We'll be heading back, we'll be docking the boat up, and we'll go back, take a look at the campsite. But today was very successful. We did get a few fish on the line, and then we did lose a few of them, which is fine. But I'm actually going to back in on this side. I do like this little area. It's kind of tucked away. And I do like how I added in this little river crossing area, which you guys did ask for. So overall, today was very successful. Let me know how you guys like this uh, version 1 map, which will be released later on in the week. So hope you guys enjoyed today's camping video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. And subscribe for more.